to St. Paul Lutheran Church in Serban, Texas. I will uh, begin by telling you a little bit about the people who came here before they came to Texas. The people who came were citizens of Germany, but they were not Germanic people. They were Slavic people. They lived in the Lausitz area of Germany, which is next to Poland. Poland is to the east and the Czech Republic is to the south. So they were Slavic people. Their language was not German, but uh, around the year 900, between 900 and 1000, uh, the Germans were moving east and they conquered the Slavic people. The Germans gave them the name of Winds, but they themselves called themselves Sorbs. When they came to Texas, they kept the Windish name. When the Windisch Museum was um, begun, we began to learn that winds are actually Sarbs, and in Germany they call themselves Sarbs, they wouldn't call themselves winds. The Germans <clears throat> continually tried to Germanize the Sorbs or winds, which they resisted. And uh, they were often treated as second class citizens. Their education wasn't as good as a, if you had German blood. And uh, the main reason that started the immigration of the Slavs was a religious reason. In 1817, which was the 300th anniversary of the Reformation, the Friedrich William III, who was the ruler of Prussia, decided to unionize the Protestant churches. You know, um, Calvin and Luther had disagreements. So there was a reformed branch of Protestantism and a Lutheran version of branch of Protestantism. Um, when Friedrich William III began his efforts to make one evangelical, uh, a generic Protestant church in um, Germany. Uh, many, not all, of the Lutherans resisted that. Um, the ones who resisted the Union Church were given the name Old Lutherans. Uh, when they realized uh, their cause was lost, uh, they, the ones who were really strong Lutherans decided to immigrate. In the 1840s, the first groups left for Australia. In um, 1854, around two areas, Clinton and Weigersdorf, which had formed old Lutheran congregations in the 1840s, uh, by 1854, they had decided to also immigrate. And the first, their idea was to go to Australia. But 
In 1853, about 35 people from this area had come to Texas. And one of my wife's great, great, great uncles wrote letters back saying that Texas is the place to come. It's a paradise. Of course, he, he didn't write that letter in July, August when it was hot as the Dickens. Uh, but anyway, he thought it was a great place to be. And when the group who had formed an immigration society read these letters, they changed their mind and decided to come to Texas and not to go join others who were already in Australia.